So who's used View It? Has anyone used it? Has anyone heard about it? Okay, one of the things that really struck me at Wikimania was how much goes on and how much stuff is being made and no one ever hears about it, which is, you know, and some of it's really good and some of it's like, oh, yeah, I'm not sure I'd ever use that. But I think that there'd be, um, this is a, a really kind of a really interesting tool that I think uh, that a lot of people can use. So it was presented by um, a guy named Dominic um, as part of a bigger session. He works for the Digital Public Library of America, which seemed like a very, very cool job because basically he just works with very, very large um, glam institutions in the States, just, you know, digitizing stuff and just getting these ginormous collections and putting them putting them on, um, on the commons. Um, but so he wasn't part of the development team. Sam might know a little bit more about who actually was behind this, um, but he sort of just gave the demo of how, how you can use it. So it's one of those ones that you have to open up your Wikipedia tools thing and you plug in a little line of JavaScript, um, which is all down here. I managed to do it in like a minute. So I'm just opening up um, Rose Seidler House. Um, and you can see that you get this little extra bar at the top, which has got all of the images in commons that are tagged against a particular theme of a page. So if I put in, this is a page that I created. And if I hadn't actually put the images on the page at the time that I created it, um, I can select like from a, a range of images that have been put up there already for me. So it's a really great way of like saying, okay, are there any images? Do I have to go and search for some? Maybe I could search some and put some up. Um, I also have noticed that when I'm looking at pages, it's a really interesting way to browse Wikipedia. So you're not only just, you're looking not just at the article, but then there's also this really great kind of visual strip at the top that's really quite engaging. So obviously you don't want to chuck a million images in an article, but if you want to quickly see um, images about a particular topic or a person that kind of all up in your little strip, I wanted to see what I thought Kylie would have heaps of images. And she does, and it tells you, so you can either view all the 29 or you can look at the next page. So it's sort of just got all of the images in common. So if you're looking at a topic that you're kind of like, oh, what do they look like or anything? You can actually quickly see the images as well so you're not just relying on the the one image on the info box or a couple of images through the article so it's super handy in terms of being able to add so if i go to rose seidler house and he gave this really nice demo of um, a historic house that was actually just down the road from the um the building that he worked in so he was quite familiar with it um, this building had probably about 30 or 40 images on commons already. And he was able to go through and sort of pick out um, uh, like a particular commentary about the woodwork in the building. And he found a beautiful image that kind of from the 1940s that showed uh, the woodwork um, at the time of the building being made, um, constructed. And then he just added the image in. So if I go to edit the page, copy. And then it adds the image sort of in the description more of the house. And then I can put a caption in here to say, um, uh, outside veranda and mural. And then that's kind of it. So it's a really nice, simple way of adding images or at least seeing what's on commons about a particular topic. And when he showed it to me, I was like, oh God, this is pretty cool. And when I got out and I said, oh, I saw, I, and, I, and it's one of those tools that's so simple and cool. I thought everyone would possibly know about it, but no one knew about it. So I'm sharing it here with the Wikimedia Australia community tonight. Mm -hmm.